Hello, Utah County. Welcome to Truth in Transit, a voter education project about the Provo Orem BRT. This is Truth in Transit 101. What the heck is BRT anyway? In three minutes or less. So right now, down in Provo Orem, there's an existing bus you can ride known as Route 830. Route 830 starts up at the Orem Front Runner Station, crosses over I-15 and around the UVU campus, shoots over to the University Mall, heads down the hill into Provo, swings around BYU, turns down University Avenue, and finishes at the Provo Front Runner Station. Now BRT, which stands for Bus Rapid Transit, is a $150 million plan that's self-described as a vision of the future to modify Route 830. And here's the vision being offered in exchange for our $150 million. The visionary BRT route calls for a bus to start at the Orem Front Runner Station, cross over I-15 and around UVU, shoot over to the University Mall, head down the hill into Provo, swing around BYU, and then turn down University Avenue and end up at the Provo Front Runner. That's it. That's the vision. So to summarize, what out-of-date Provo Norum has now is a bus running a very specific route and the $150 million BRT vision of the future replaces that with a bus running the same specific route. Uh, did I mention that it's going to cost $150 million? Well, there is one major difference. On just over half the route, instead of the bus driving down the inside lanes like it does now, with the BRT, the bus will drive down the middle of the road. That's the BRT vision of the future. The headphone jack is going to be on the bottom. <sighs> well, that's how a good chunk of the $150 million is going to be spent. Building bus stops in the middle of the busiest streets in Provo, plus all the subsequent destruction of sidewalks, trees, and property on both sides of the road to make room for them. So these trees on University Avenue, gone. And if you think trees down here by the new temple would be pleasant, forget about them. No room at the inside lane. Now, former Provo Mayor Lewis Billings, in a recent editorial, asked the obvious question. Under the draft BRT plan for segments along University Avenue, many of the old and new trees along this beautiful corridor will be impacted or lost. Are we really ready to sacrifice one of the most significant trademark features of our community for a project based on an old and faulty BRT data? Now, building bus stops in the middle of the road raises some other important questions as illustrated by this young man over here about to take his chances as former mayor billings asked again why do we want to ask students mothers and fathers with children seniors or anyone else for that matter to have to dodge and deal with the multiple lanes of traffic every time they want to access or depart the proposed brt on university avenue now <laughs> that's a great question but for our purposes right now there's two more important questions first how is brt going to be paid for and second, why is there a petition drive to stop BRT funding until Utah County voters have a chance to vote on it? Well, you can find the answer to those two questions in our next video, Truth and Transit 201, or Quarter Sense and Sensibility. You'll find that video at brtpetition.com. And while you're there, you can get more info, get connected with other like-minded people, and find out where to sign a petition. We'll see you there, Utah County.